Hello, I'm Howard Assignments. Today, I'm going to tell you all about cloning. I have a friend named Dolly, and she got as a result of cloning. So what is cloning? Cloning is the process which produces a genetic identical organism. As in Dolly, Dolly is a sheep that has exactly the same genetic information compared to his mother. Well, throughout the video, I'll be introducing two types of cloning. How does it work? Pros and cons of the cloning process. And lastly, how does it apply to our real life? Learning. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So this is the video which I made to present you the great and majestic technology of cloning. And here is Dolly. Enjoy! The two methods of cloning are artificial embryo twinning and somatic cell nucleus transform. Artificial embryo twinning is basically mimicking the process of identical twins. For the sperm and first fertilized egg and produce a zygote. The zygote then grows into an embryo. The embryo separates naturally and each embryo develops into identical twins. Just so now, it is time to introduce how artificial embryo twinning works. Same as before, we have a zygote that later became an embryo. The embryo is separated manually and put it into petri dish for it to grow. After enough growth, they are removed and put it into a surrogated mother, which will then help with it two identical clones. Well, it is that simple. So this is how artificial embryo twinning works. White is filtered white and black. Blast! Much better. Well, now let's jump right into the simple model of symmetric cell nucleus transform. Somatic cell nucleus transform work. Here is a white faced sheep slash what we want and a black faced sheep or surrogated mother. We then collect the somatic cell from the white sheep and the egg from the black sheep. Using a thin section device, the nucleus of the egg is extracted. The somatic cell then is in a starvation stage called zero phase. Using electric current, the two cell membranes are fused together. This new modified egg is put in into the surrogated mother. This will produce a sheep that has the same exact genetic information compared to the somatic cell from the white. Phew, finally, it's the end of explanation of somatic cell nucleus transform. Moving right on. The pros and the cons. Right, the snack. Let's be optimistic and talk about the advantages first. First of all, we all know organs can be transplanted for people who is in need. As you can see in the graph, a lot of people is on waiting list for organ transplant because of unfortunately there isn't enough organ for them to do the transplant. And some fail to do the transplant because of the uncompatible organs. With cloning, we can clone the organ directly from the patient so the artificial organ can be 100% compatible to the person who is in need and cut the waiting line short. Another advantage is lowering the extinction rate. As in the graph, the extinction rate is going out of control. Cloning can not only reduce extinction rate, cloning can even bring back animals which can be quite helpful for finding cure for current diseases and prevent extinction animals to desert their ecosystem. The third of all, the human population keep growing. 
to one point we will have not enough food to feed everyone, resulting some of us starving to death. With cloning, we will be able to clone food for people. Clone food will now produce fart, which means it is also good for the environment. Let us now discuss about the downside of cloning. First of all, my grandpa died five years ago and I really want to bring him back. Although cloning is possible to bring him back, he will not have the same exact memory, which is pretty heartbreaking. The biggest issue is that it will bring up so many ethical problems, such as does the cloned human have human rights? Will doing experiments on cloned animal be animal cruelty? Or will people use their clone decoy for crime? All these are problems that animal cloning will bring to us. And now, we have even more problems. If there is a dumb sheep in this ecosystem, and we start cloning a super sheep, this super sheep continues to clone and reproduce. It will eat all the grass and come out compete the dumb sheep. And if a disease came, and kill all the super sheep, then the whole species will be wiped out. Cool. So that is the end of the pros and cons. Now, let us move on to how cloning relates to our school topic. Right, you guys. And how all this stuff relates to school? Well, the answer is telomeres! Dolly's quote unquote mother have chromosomes that have shorter telomere and a low active rate of telomerase. While a newborn sheep have chromosomes with longer telomere. Because Dolly is a clone of somatic cell of his mother, Dolly's chromosome will be shorter, which means Dolly's cell won't be able to divide as much which means Dolly's life is shorter. This effect is called the premature aging. That's a wrap! Thank you for watching. See you next time.